Ohm's law is one of the foundational aspects to broadcast engineering. Without this, you're not going to get too far. We're not going to be shoving you into a world of Smith charts or constellations or calculating SWR, but this is something you need to know. Ohm's law is an easy to remember formula used to calculate the relationship between voltage, resistance, current, and power. Voltage is equal to current times resistance. We're using basic algebra for this calculation. Let's define some of the symbols we're going to be using in this equation. E is going to stand for voltage. Don't ask why, it just is. Okay, fine, a long time ago, Alessandro Volta, the creator of the early version of the battery, called voltage electromotive force. Hence, the letter E was used. Okay, that out of the way. I is going to stand for current in amps. R is going to stand for resistance in ohms. And P is going to stand for power in watts. So let's circle back to the beginning of this video with that first equation. Voltage is equal to current times resistance. You can flip that around and find out how much current by taking your voltage and dividing by your resistance. Or, to get your resistance, you divide your voltage by your current. Okay, why is this important? This is the foundation of how electronics work. Let's look at a hypothetical radio station. You're needing to get a new transmitter. Let's say it's an old tube-based Bext transmitter that has screws in the worst place to try to open. And you're looking at a new Nautel or Gates Air transmitter. Well, how big of a transmitter will we need? Sure, you can basically copy the old transmitter and buy that way, but you're relying on someone else being correct. How much power does the license say for TPO, transmitter power output? How much power does this license say for ERP, effective radiated power? How long is your coax? What is your coax? What gain is your antenna? TPO? is how much power is coming out of the back of the transmitter. That feeds into the coax or transmission line. And not all transmission line is created equal. You'll need to know the resistance of the coax. Sure, you could just look at the power output of the existing old transmitter, like I said, and just order the new version of that. But again, what if your predecessor didn't order the right one? Or what if your station got a power increase or decrease? Or what if you're doing HD now? Well, here's another example that I dealt with this past week. I needed to order a power supply for a piece of equipment that we had ordered off of eBay. Because the company that makes it decided to not make that unit anymore, and it's exactly what we needed, but I digress. I had the voltage and I had the wattage of the unit, but I needed to know the amperage for the power supply. So Ohm's law came into play and allowed us to spec the right replacement power supply. This is why having this formula at the ready would be helpful. I have a link in the description to a PDF version of this chart on my website where you can download and print and hang up at your desk. Or if you want, you can order an Ohm's law t-shirt. You can wear it and just have to look down. That's all for this video on some of the basics of broadcast engineering. Check out some of the other videos in this series if you're interested in learning more. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning.